And we have this event really as our primary fundraiser so that we can continue to advocate for children who are in foster care. That's Rachel Swedberg from Casa for Kids talking about the ninth annual Evening to Change a Child story in Bath Township tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Andrews. Ann Emmerich is off tonight. Tonight's event supports making positive changes in the lives of abused and neglected children. News 10's Tonight Jordan was there. 15,000 children in foster care, according to the National Adoption Association. Some local advocates are using their own experience to help change a child's story. When I was a young child, I, I had faced a verbal abuse by someone close to me, and it caused me to have some harmful decisions. But 20 years later, Adam Williams says sharing his story helps the youth overcome their own struggles. I know I was facing verbal abuse. I did have a, a, a strength of my own I needed to tap into to kind of overcome that. So my abuser didn't change. It was me that changed on the inside. During Friday's evening to change a child's story, Executive Director Rachel Swedberg says Casa for Kids currently has a team of 90 volunteers advocating for abused and neglected children in Barrie, Eaton, and Ingham counties. And in 2022, we advocated for 160 children who are currently in foster care to make sure their voices are heard and their needs are met. Volunteers like Monique Hudson say they spend a lot of time with abused kids that were removed from their homes. She says they even play games and have dinner together. One, for me, I enjoy, it's like my peak of the week just to go see them and hang out with them. Um, but also on their side, like I've been able to build trust with them that other people in the case aren't able to do. They don't have that touch point that's as frequent. Providing a safe space for children to find their voice. Through sharing stories of what I face as a, as a child, but also helping them share their stories and what they're currently facing. And proceeds from tonight's event will support children who are currently in the foster care system. Last year, Casa for Kids volunteers supported 36 children returning home to their parents. Back to you, David. All right. Thank you very much, Tanaya.